Welcome, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I was giving it just a little bit for everyone to transition, jumping over from the opportunity event onto the Zoom. Um, my name is Brittany Hayes. I am your Presidential Diamond Leader, um, and I'm just so, so excited for this Zoom tonight. This is just a season of just such rapid growth for our team, and I just can't even wait just to see all of you who, are, who have jumped in this month, and maybe some of you that are on here that jumped in the tail end of last month. I cannot even wait to see what this business does in your life this year. Um, just a brief introduction of me. I've been in the business for um, two and a half years, and I joined after watching a girl on social media for a while, just like probably all of you did as well too. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no experience. I was definitely super nervous, super unsure, but this business has absolutely changed my life. Um, it's made my family a full-time family. It's brought my husband home, retired before he was 30. Um, we raised our five little kids together. Um, and we just live every day on our terms and we show other people that there is so much more beyond the status quo and that their life can change too if they're just willing to take a leap of faith and work hard and make it happen. So I want you to know no matter where you come from, no matter what stage of life you're in, no matter what odds you feel like you have stacked up against you, this business can change your life too. And we're going to hopefully tonight answer any lingering questions you maybe have. I know when you get started, um, it can feel like information overload. And so we're our goal from tonight's Zoom is just to provide you with just the basic tools to get started, just to connect some of those dots in your head and just help you just get started off strong. So um, I welcome you guys to comment in the chat. Any questions you have, we'll go through them at the end. Um, if you have a question when you get started, you're probably like, okay, I'm brand new, I'm ready to jump in, but what do I really do? My enrollers tagged me in a couple things, but I'm just really not sure where to go from here. So your enroller likely tagged you in two things when you got started. And if for some reason they didn't, or maybe you missed the notification, no problem. I'm going to tell you where to find these things. Um, and you can, you know, off, go back to them and follow up with these things as well too. But the two things that they likely tagged you in um, right out of the gates was the welcome training website and our team page, Freedom Legacy. Um, and then a first post example in the files of our team page, Fire Tribe. I'm gonna really quickly just tell you guys what the difference is from the team page, the team pages. So Freedom Legacy is our ambassador upline, Claire Flores. That is her entire team page. So it's everybody on her team, which obviously includes all of us. Um, and then Fire Tribe is a more intimate team page. That's everyone um, that's on my myself and my husband, uh, Zach, everyone that's in our downline. So again, if you're on the Zoom, that includes you. Um, you have several Fire Tribe leaders. Um, and if you look at the description of Fire Tribe, you can see specifically who all your Fire Tribe leaders are, like all of your diamond leaders in Fire Tribe and your double diamond leaders. Uh, your triple diamond leaders. And so I encourage you, if you haven't already gotten familiar with that, to familiarize yourself with who the leaders of the team are. Um, but anyways, you should have been added to both team pages. Freedom Legacy is a year older than Fire Tribe, and so it's got a lot more resources. There's a lot of things you can search in the team page. Um, and then you can also, of course, search things in Fire Tribe as well, too. So they likely tagged you in the pinned post of Freedom Legacy, and that is um, the Welcome Training website. And so that is just a website that the leaders of Freedom Legacy, myself included, um, it's a tool that we worked really hard on and put together. It's just got a lot of really short videos. Most of them are like three minutes long. And so what I love about it is even if you're brand new, it's not so overwhelming. You can just go from one video to the next. Um, it's not information overload. So I encourage you, if you have not yet taken a look at that website, go ahead and take a look at that and go through the videos and then go back to your enroller and let them know when you've completed it um, and then ask them any questions that you have. And then the pinned, um, I'm sorry, then the first post example that is in Firetribe, that is in the file. So for some reason you lost um, that notification. If you literally just open the, I was going to show you guys my iPad, but I think with the glare, it'll be a little hard. Um, if you just open Firetribe and you go over to the right, there, you can scroll, it says like discussion, albums, files. Click files, there's lots of good files, lots of wording and things you can use, but there's one that says first post example. So that is what you would wanna do. Um, once you get your first post up, that is like your basic first step in the business, is just getting that first post up. And so that first post has a great call to action written in the example. So when you post that, um, as people start commenting on it, you're gonna to wanna to reply to their comments and say messaging you. And then as um, you're messaging the people privately, you're going to want to make sure, number one, that you're always 
answering any questions that they have privately in Messenger. You don't want to reply and answer the questions publicly because here's the thing, a lot of people may actually have that same question. And so rather than answering them all on, the, on your Facebook where everyone can see, you want everybody to have to ask you because that's just going to get you in more conversations, which is good for you getting started. So you're going to say messaging you and then you're just going to send them a quick message and just say, you know, hey girl, thanks so much for being willing to help me out. Take a look at these goals and I will pair you with the product or products that accomplish each of those goals. And then the goals can also be found in the files of Fire Tribe. And then as they tell you the goals they have, like three, five, and seven, the responses to the goals are also typed out in the files of Fire Tribe as well, too. And then lastly, we have pricing scripts also in the pinned post of Fire Tribe that correlate with all the goals. So everything you need is there. Um, if you're not taking notes and you get right in the middle of a conversation and you kind of you freeze and you're like, help, what do I say? That's what your enroller is for. You can message them anytime and they would love to you know, help you and just help you steal the deal, help you answer those questions that you're maybe feeling a little challenging or overwhelmed answering, you know, right out of the gates as a newbie. Um, the number one thing is that you want to start making sure you're posting right away. When you get started, you don't want to wait for your kid to come in. There's nothing magical in your kid at all. It's, it's you know, fun and exciting to get. It's like um, just an exciting welcome gift to get in the mail, but there's nothing in it that you need to actually get started. Um, so many people who are, who, who are top leaders in this business never even tried a product before they join the business. So you don't, you know, definitely don't need to have don't need to feel like you need to try everything before you got started or anything like that. You want to get started right away. Um, and everything that we have, like all the tools in the team pages are geared towards even if you haven't tried anything. So I just wanted to preface with that. But your first goal when you get started is to get your first four loyal customers. Um, if you're on here, and you're not sure exactly what a loyal customer is, um, the great thing about our business is we can offer anyone 40% off of retail. So you can have a retail customer that pays full price, or you can offer someone 40% off, um, and that is a loyal customer. And all it means to be a loyal customer is that they agree to try something for three months. That's it. They can mix and match. They can try different things. Um, and that is what all of our customers choose to do. Um, my entire two and a half years in the business, I've only ever had one person choose to be a retail customer out of over 1500 customers. Only ever one has chosen to be a retail customer. So most people will choose to be a loyal customer. And even if they maybe at first are like, oh, I just want to try it one time. You can just gently remind them, oh, you get that 40% off discount and you can try anything those other two months. It doesn't have to be the same product. Um, but that is your first goal is to get your first four loyal customers because that is what gets you your shopping spree. You get a hundred dollar shopping spree that you can use on apparel, on accessories, on free product, on anything that you want from our store um, whenever you get your first four loyal customers. So that should be your first goal right out of the gates um, is to get those first four loyal customers ASAP. Um, when I got started, I got my first four customers in like five days. And I just, I remember like being like, oh my gosh, I actually got my first goal accomplished. I was so scared, so nervous. And it was just so refreshing to like check that first goal off. And it just made me realize, okay, I can really do this. Um, and so I encourage you take it step by step and just take each goal at a time because you won't feel overwhelmed that way. You'll feel like, okay, I can do this. Um, so yeah, you want to start posting right away and get that first post up right away. If you're, you know, stumbling on your words, you're overwhelmed, you're not sure exactly what to say, get with your enroller. They would love, absolutely love to help you write. Um, your first post. Um, you can send you know, a first post you've briefly written out to a team chat that you're in, have everybody look it over and get some feedback if you're nervous. Um, but get that first post up right away because that is where everything begins. And then you can jump right into a regular posting routine after that. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to say is just anything, sorry guys, let me make sure everyone's muted. Um, it, any questions that come up, anything that someone asks you, just again, I know I kind of already briefly touched on this, but just make sure when in doubt, screenshot any question you have to your enroller. If someone's asking you something that you just, you don't know how to respond, that is what they're there for. They are here to help you succeed in the business. So whoever enrolled you um, is going to welcome any and all those questions because they want you to be successful. And we're all one big family and that's what we're here for. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to say is just the number one rule that I, that I always like to you know, remind everyone of is just less is more. Never answer a question that wasn't asked. So when you are answering people's questions, just keep it simple. Keep it right to you know, what they're actually asking. Um, oh, sorry. I was, 
uh, I thought Jordan for some reason said that she couldn't hear me. I realized she was telling all of you guys. Yeah, make sure that you guys do click the um, connect to audio button. I guess I'm saying this and if you can't hear, you can't hear me say that. So <laughs> anyways, hopefully um, everybody can figure that out in the chat. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on is just if you are brand new, you should be part of our newbie chat. We start a newbie chat every month. Um, for anyone that's brand new that month. So we have one right now that's called February Newbies. Um, if you are not yet a part of it, ask your enroller to connect you um, with one of your fire tribe leaders to get you added and we will get you added. Um, the great thing about the newbie chat is all of your fire tribe leaders are in there. And so you're brand new, you, there's no better resource for you than to be in one place with you know all of us who have been through this business and have, are all making you know, full-time incomes and hire it with this business. So we're going to be there to pour into you guys every single day and just give you guys that additional, those additional tips past what your enrollers are already giving you. So you want to make sure you're a part of the newbie chat. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, they can come in and they may be like, don't like the notifications popping up or they can think chats can be, you know, overwhelming. But what I want you to hear from me as your leader, just right out of the gates is that shift your thinking to realize that like, it's not overwhelming. It's an asset. Um, it's not overwhelming. It's something that, you know, is literally just a constant for you, a constant. Um, if we can all make sure we're muted, I would really appreciate it. I'm muting everybody and I'm just going to do, I'm going to make it to where you can mute yourself. Jordan, I'll have to unmute you whenever it's your turn. Cause I just did it where um, people can't unmute themselves. Cause I think everybody's accidentally unmuting themselves. Um, but anyways, these chats are just so valuable. And so, you know, even if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, I encourage you stay in the chats because that is where you learn. That is where you grow. That is where the magic happens. And that is where you stay connected to, to community. And what I want you to know is that whenever you start something new and you are, you know, guns blazing, running full force, the devil will always come and try to attack you. And one way that he, you know, really, will get will attempt to get to us is through isolation and so when he isolates us from community that's when he can really get us feeling discouraged and so the best way to not feel discouraged not be um overwhelmed and to just you know stay positive and stay pumped up and to stay um you know in that spirit of belief that if he did it for all of us he is in god that he can do it for you too is to stay connected to community and stay connected to the fire and to stay connected to people who are going to cheer you on and call you higher so i encourage you to make sure that you get that you are that you ask your enroller to get you connected to the newbie chat if you're not already in there. Um, if for some reason you were in there and you left the chat and you would like to be added back, just let us know. Um, but it's just such a powerful thing. And then the last thing about the chat that I wanted to say is make sure, and this goes to anyone on here that's in any of the chats, once you graduate from a newbie chat, we add you to run to Ruby and then exploding Emerald, a dash to diamond. Um, and it's just so great to run with people who are running for the same thing that you're running for. Um, but no matter what chat you're in at any stage of the business, make sure you're taking time at the end of every day to kind of like stop to like scroll back and catch up on whatever that you have, you know, missed out on throughout the day. Um, there is so much good info in the chats. And even if someone asked a question that at the time didn't apply to you, go back and read the question and read how one of your fire tribe leaders answered the question, because that is how you learn. Um, so much of the info that I have today that I'm able to help other people with is from when I was brand new, like you guys, when I was in a similar, a similar chat like that, um, I would just soak everything up like a sponge. I would read everything that Claire answered because I was like, okay, one day this will happen to me. One day I'll have a customer that has that question. And so I just committed to like learning as much as I could in those um, chats. Um, the last thing I wanted to say before I pass, pass it over to Jordan is that if you're in the newbie chat, if you just scroll up to the top, you'll see this. Um, but we have a graphic that's like a daily checklist. You're going to want to save this to your phone and look at this every day. This is like your non-negotiables, your things that you want to make sure you get done every single day in the business without fail. And I'm going to see if I can pull it up and just kind of show you guys in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just a little colorful. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see. Sorry, my exposure is too bright. Um, here we go. Uh, sorry guys. I'm like not very technologically savvy. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like a white graphic with colorful writing. Um, it just says post three to six times a day, post to your story, follow minimum hundred people on Instagram. I actually recommend you do about 200 a day. Um, follow up with everyone you talked to yesterday. So what this means is if someone does, um, reach out to you and ask you a question, the conversation, uh, drops off. They don't say anything, you know, five o'clock is the last time you heard from them. Tomorrow, you're going to want to send them a follow-up message um, to start that conversation back up. 
add 10 to 15 friends on Facebook every day, interact with your network for 15 minutes. That just means a like and comment on people's things. Um, and then self-development, and that is the most important thing, and we'll hit on more of this later, um, but make sure that you save this to your phone and that you just treat this like your non-negotiables. These are the things that you wanna make sure you're doing every single day um, to stay in business. You know, If you go to a job and you clock in, you have things that you have to do every single day, right? Or you would get fired. Well, in this business, no one's gonna fire you. You are your own boss. But if you, if, if you did have things that you could get fired for, it would be not doing these things. So make sure that you do these things every single day without fail um, and you'll be golden. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to Jordan and she's gonna talk to you guys about um, you know, your war market, reaching out to them um, and just some other amazing tips that you will just find so beneficial getting started. Oh, and Jordan, let me unmute you. Sorry, just forgot I, all right, there we go. Good. Hey guys, I'm Jordan Splinter. I am, uh, I'll just do a quick introduction since Brittany did hers at the beginning. Um, I'm a double diamond. I've been in the business for next month to be two years, which is really crazy because it's gone by so fast. Um, so yeah, we basically, we just wanted to get on here and share some helpful tips with you guys because we all started at ground zero. Like <laughs> we, any top leaders that you see, any leaders in Fire Tribe or Freedom Legacy or, you know, in just the company in general, we all started at day one and we know exactly what you're feeling right now. We know exactly that it's how overwhelming you may feel, how excited you may feel, how like legitimately everything. I'm a very yellow personality. If you guys don't know the color personalities yet, definitely check those out. Um, they're super important for just knowing like how you run your business and how you, um, you know, as your team grows, how to connect with them as well. Um, so I'm super yellow, which means that I just want to like love everybody. I just want to like help everybody and do all the things and I feel everybody's everything. So when I tell you like, I understand how you're feeling, that couldn't be more true because I had all the feelings you guys, <laughs> like all the feelings. And I'm a very interactive person. So you guys can totally like nod and smile and all those things. And that makes me like happy. Claire said that the other night and I was like, that is me too. I like the nods. I have like a little short page of people I can see. So um, if everybody nods, you'll, I'll see you at some point. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about um, your warm market and what that looks like. So you'll hear different um, terminology thrown around like warm market or I use cool market a lot. Um, and you'll also hear cold market. So cold market is something that we hear more often when it comes to a business like this. And that is like what scares people away. So when you think of people like cold messaging you, that's like those moments that, I don't know if you guys have ever gotten these messages, but you get like these rando people coming out of nowhere, like, hey, join my team. Hey, do you wanna make extra money? You know, like all the spam like that you could possibly compile into one place and they throw it in your inbox and you're like, who the heck are you? Why are you sending me these messages? Um, that's definitely not what we wanna be. <laughs> Some people do cold messaging, but they do it very intentionally. So if you guys have questions about that, definitely um, ask your enroller or your like, nearest diamond upline and they can explain to you how some people are successful with cold messaging. Um, sorry, people are buzzing my phone, it's making it fall. Um, and what that looks like and how to do that in a good way. So what we're gonna talk about is your warm market. And what that means, your warm market is gonna be anybody that you know in real life. So think about like your family, your friends, um, you know, people that you went to school with in like middle school, high school, college, church, you know, all of these like different places, people that you've actually met in person, that's your warm market. And we have an amazing warm market message that is in the files of Fire Tribe. So you're gonna hear us referring to the files a lot because there's so much gold there. Um, wording, messages, pricing, like all kinds of stuff um, is in the files. That is your golden place to go. Um, so we have a really good message there. And that's really helpful when you're first getting started. That was where I got um, the majority of my very first customers. I, I don't know about you guys, maybe some of you guys had phenomenal first posts and everybody was running to you and they want to join your business day one and they want to quarter all the products. That was not the case for me. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure the only people that like commented or liked my very first post was Brittany because she's my enroller and probably my parents and not even my husband because he wasn't even on social media at that time. Um, it was like nobody. It was like crickets, y'all. Like, like, okay, where's all the people? Oh my gosh, this is making me nervous. Can I not do this? Like, what's going on? Um, 
And Brittany was like, no, no, it's okay. That's normal. Okay. We're going to work with it. And I jumped over to warm market message. And this is basically a message that you send out to those people that I named or that I listed. And it basically just says something like, Hey, so-and-so, um, you know, I know this is so random. I don't know if you've seen, I started, I just started a brand new business or I just started on a new journey for my family. I can't remember exactly what it says. It's been a while. Um, but it's basically in a very non-invasive way asking them like, Hey, would you want to support me as I start my business? Um, and that was how I got a lot of my first customers. So that is golden. Um, if you don't feel like you have a very strong warm market, don't worry because there's people who also got started in the business who, you know, their family and friends weren't very supportive and that's very unfortunate and very common, um, which is really sad to say, but that is very common that people, you know, their family and friends, they don't know anything about it. So they just say hateful, hurtful things to, you know, deflect from their own insecurities <laughs> and things they don't know about. So, um, if you have a warm market that is not the most supportive and you don't feel the most comfortable going there, um, definitely go to the ones that you do feel comfortable with. But other than that, a really great resource for you guys is going to be host to post. Um, you're going to see us throwing that around a lot, um, either host to post or you'll see HAP. That's also just shortened for host to post. Um, and what that is, we have a giveaway going on in Freedom Legacy right now. And for all of you guys that are new this month, it's free for you guys to get in on that giveaway, which is super cool. Yeah, <laughs> host to post is life. Um, and basically what that's doing, so what a host to post would look like if you're a part of the giveaway is you are going to um, check out, there's a training in Freedom Legacy that's in that post that says, um, I think Brittany, it says, target giveaway or some kind of giveaway. I guess I should make this very generic in case people are watching this next month. Um, some sort of giveaway, check out that post. And there's going to be a link in that post that um, takes you to a training showing you how to do host to post, how to be successful with it. Um, and you're basically going to, if you do the giveaway, put that up on your wall and people are going to get entries by putting a post on their wall for you. So there, uh, we have a whole thing in Fire Tribe in the files, once again, <laughs> that gives you all of that wording. So don't worry about like, what do I say? What do I give them? What do I send? All those things. We have all the words in there that are going to walk you through everything beginning to end. Um, and that's just a really great way to expand your network and expand your market so fast, you guys. Like think about all of these people, you know, you could reach out to just your warm market and that's a very limited amount of people, especially, you know, if you are starting out like I did, I didn't really have a very big, um, Facebook or Instagram. I didn't have very many followers. Um, so that's a very limited market and, you know, we're a social media based business. We're one of the top social media teams in the entire company. So we're giving you the tools and resources to show you how to get off to a very strong start by expanding your network right away. Um, so this is basically, you know, all of these people, you are opening up into their market and into their market and their market and their market, if that makes sense. Like it's literally an unlimited supply of people and it's like, oh my gosh, jackpot of networks. Um, so yeah, those people are basically just putting up posts for you and you're interacting with the people who are commenting on their posts. And that's just a great way to get your first customers in to expand your network. Even if people are not um, purchasing products right away, you're planting those seeds and now you are in their friends list and they're seeing your stuff now. So just when I say the possibilities are endless, you guys, they're just absolutely incredible. So take one of those two things or both, um, you know, send out that warm market message to your people. I just went down my Facebook list, like A to Z and anybody that I knew in real life, I sent that message to, um, not all at once, obviously, but I took like a section each day, like A's, then B's then C's, and so forth. Um, and then host to post is life. So definitely ask your enroller about host to post if you have more questions about that. Um, and that's going to help you guys so much with getting your first four customers, getting that shopping spree when you get your first four customers. I think Brittany, did you touch on that shopping spree? I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So just gold all around. Okay. We are going to transition over really quickly. I'm going to see if I can screen share with you guys. So bear with me for just a second. 
And just side note, y'all, I'm really pregnant and I get out of breath really easy. So if y'all hear me breathing really hard, <laughs> that's definitely why. Okay, so we're just gonna go over, before I click over, um, some e-suite basics for you guys. Like just some really simple things you're gonna wanna know as you're getting started. Like, you know, where certain things are, what they are, how to do certain things, how to find information and things like that. So I'm gonna share, I'm gonna screen share e-suite with you guys really quickly. There we go. Can you see my screen? Brittany, okay. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. So when you guys log into your eSuite, some of you may have never logged in yet. This is what your eSuite homepage is gonna look like. And you can click on all these different things and see um, like volume, performance overview, all like shows you lots of cool stuff. Um, but what I wanna show you guys first is so when you're brand new when you first log into your e-suite it's going to prompt you to confirm your tax information go ahead and do that um, before you do anything else <laughs> otherwise it's going to be you're going to be on commission hold and we don't want anybody not getting their paycheck so you just need to make sure you log in right away confirm your tax information if you haven't done that yet it's going to pop up and tell you that like right away when you first sign in and then so the next thing I wanna show you guys, so Brittany was telling you about your first goal of getting your first four customers, how to have those conversations, all of those things. So when you are ready to get your first order in, you're gonna go up here at the top of the screen and tap orders. And then we're gonna look over on the left side where it says enroll new customer. And then we're gonna select loyal customer. Because like Brittany was saying, I'm the same way. I've, I've literally never had a retail customer. Like nobody has time for that full price stuff. You stay with that discount. Okay. So from here, then you're just going to scroll down and just find the product that your customer is wanting to buy. So at the top, you'll see the hot products that we have right now. That'll make it a little bit easier for um, like a quick find for some of those things. Otherwise, you're going to scroll down and just tap on some of these drop downs. And you guys can go on and just kind of play around on eSuite so that you familiarize yourself with where products are, what category they're under, um, all of those things, so that when you go on to get your customer's order in for them, you can um, do it very efficiently and quickly. And if anybody has questions about that, um, feel free to put them in the, in the chat. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you guys is document library. So this is really helpful um, when you first get started and then all throughout your business. So it's at the top right up here. Takes a second to load, but this is where you're gonna find lots of really helpful information. So things like your charts. So you, everybody wants to go ahead and get their Ruby chart printed out. Um, even if you're brand new in the business day one or you just joined like five minutes ago, <laughs> printing out your Ruby chart is gonna be one of the first things that you also want to do. So if I was gonna look for Ruby chart, I could go up here and type in Ruby. And you guys can see it automatically brings up um, a few different things for Ruby and this bottom one that says Ruby chart. And you can just hit download um, and have that on your, have that download to your phone or whatever you're using and print that out. And you guys can just play around with this as well. There's so, whoa, don't need that. There's so much helpful information here, whether it's, um, product information, you can type up, you can hit product info and it's gonna show you all of the products, where to find their product info for that. So if you have a customer or a potential customer asking you, well, what is in, what's in the greens? Like what exactly are the greens? Then you could go in here, find greens, download that product info and screenshot them, um, you know, a 
screenshot the ingredients to them if they're asking specifically for ingredients for a product. So, so much helpful information here. And then I'm going to show you guys also. So once you get your first four loyal customers, you obviously get your $100 shopping spree, which is so much fun. Um, and I can, I don't know, maybe we should go over that too, Brittany, just to show people, because um, that can be a little bit confusing when you haven't done it before. Um, but after you get your first four customers, um, you are going to want to go ahead and get your spouse signed with you. Um, and especially with these $20 codes right now, that's going to be huge. Um, you can get your spouse signed for $20 or your boyfriend or fiance, or if you don't have any of the above, get your mom, get your sister, <laughs> um, somebody that you can have as um, a distributor, like a, I like to call it like a ghost distributor account under you. Um, and then you're going to start moving customers to there from that point forward and earning a double paycheck on that. So what I wanted to show you guys um, really quickly, I think I should be able to show you right now, is once you get to that point, how to move a customer. And this is jumping ahead just a little bit, but I know a lot of you guys are enrolling customers really quickly and getting your shopping sprees really fast. So I want you to be able to maximize your paychecks as much as possible um, from the get-go. So I'm gonna go, I went to reports, and then I'm gonna go to additional reports. And then I'm gonna look over on the right where it says personally enrolled team under recruitment. And then right here, what you can see is any enrollments that you've had in the past 72 hours. Um, so the one that is still green, that is a customer that I have not moved yet. So if I was going to move this under my spouse so that we get a double paycheck on that, I'm gonna to slide to the right I'm going to hit this drop down arrow and I'm going to click move and then you're just going to paste the distributor ID number right there when it asks you. You're going to verify it and then click move. So those are just some, some simple um, quick things that I wanted to show you guys on there that are also really important to know um, ahead of time so that when you guys get there you can do that quickly efficiently and then the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was getting your auto shipment set. So many of you may have, um, when you joined this month, well, now you guys can see my card information. When you guys joined this month, um, you had the option, here, let me just stop screen sharing for a second. Let's see if I can get back to you guys. Okay, can you see me now? Now everybody has my card info. Don't spend the money. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, when you guys got started this month, you had a, an exclusive opportunity to be able to set your auto shipment to a pack that we've never had before. That was like $400 worth of product for legit like dirt cheap. And I'm super jealous of you guys because that is like some of my favorite products in there. <laughs> um, so the majority of you guys should have already went ahead and done that so that you can lock in that deal because that's only available when you get started. But if for some reason you did not, um, what you're going to want to do is go into your e-suite and click auto shipments like I was showing you um, and go ahead and set your e-suite or your e-suite. Go ahead and set your auto shipment to something that is ADBV, minimum ADBV. And if you don't know what that means yet, um, reach out to your enroller and they can help you with that. So why that is so important is we want you guys to, we don't want you to come into a business and not know anything about your, what you're, what you're selling and what you're talking about. We want you guys to have the most knowledge and training as possible. Not so much training, but you guys get what I'm saying. And that, that comes along with trying the products. People wanna know what you think of them. They wanna know if you're using them, how it tastes, what it looks like, you know, all these different things. And the best way to be able to do that is to try products along the way. Um, that doesn't mean that you need to set it up and try all of your products at one time. <laughs> That's, I would not recommend that. <laughs> we want you guys to do it in a, in a smart way. Uh, we don't want anybody to jump in and go into debt because they're trying all the products at once. Um, so that is one reason why we have our ADBB auto shipment so that we're getting at least two products a month that we're trying and we're able to tell our customers like, hey, this is what the shake tastes like. This is what coffee tastes like. This is what it did for me. Uh, and people are going to trust that because they're going to buy you before they buy products. You know, we can talk all day long about what keto coffee does, but until 
you know, you experience that for yourself, there's just nothing like it, you know, and people, people want to gain that trust with you and earn that trust with you, knowing that you stand behind these products that you're using and, you know, having our monthly auto shipment is a great way to do that. Not to mention that is paycheck security for you guys. Um, that automatically guarantees you that you are going to get a paycheck every single month when you're running your ADBB auto shipment. Um, every, all the work that you did the month prior that you're going to be getting paid on that. Um, so I have run mine since very, very early in my business. Um, I didn't have mine set up when I first got started. And that was mainly because I thought I couldn't afford it. I was nervous <laughs> to spend the money. I already paid the $99 and didn't have that to begin with. And I was just really anxious about putting any more money in and I'd never tried the products. Um, and I remember listening to a training very early on in the business and I would just listen to them constantly while I was cooking, while I was getting ready, any of these things, I was looking up YouTube trainings and we'll talk about that. Um, and I heard somebody say one time something that stood out to me and it has never, ever left me. Um, they said, and this is a top leader in the company. They said that, um, when it comes to looking at their downline, looking at their chart and who they are going to help build. Okay, so if she has, somebody has, you know, Sally so-and-so over here and Katie so-and-so over here, she's gonna look at these two people. Okay, I have, I have an opportunity to help build one of these people. If she looks and sees that Sally so-and-so is not running her auto shipment, but Katie is, she's gonna go with Katie because she knows that Katie takes her business seriously. She's trying these products and she's gonna build that person. Not the person who isn't running their auto shipment, who's not commission qualified, who isn't trying the products. Um, to, to a leader that looks like somebody that just doesn't really care about their business very much um, and that they're not invested in their products and what they're doing. So um, that stood out to me and I was like, I want to, when my leaders look at me, I want them to know that I'm here for good and that they want to, I want to be the one that they run with. So that day forward, I turned mine on and it's never gone off. <laughs> um, okay. So that is all I had about E-Suite. Um, and then just a couple of other things and then I'm going to pass it back over to Brittany. Um, just some learning things where you can find um, information, where you can learn about products and things like that. Um, so these are really good to jot down, keep in your phone or your notes or somewhere. Um, when you are wanting to learn about products, we have a website called My It Works Product Coach. Is it My It Works Product Coach or It Works Product Coach? You can Google It Works Product Coach and it's the first thing that pops up. Um, Brittany might be typing it in the thing, in the comments. Um, but this is where you can go and it is gold, you guys. Like I spent so much time on here when I first got started and even sometimes still somebody will ask me a really random question that I don't know. And my go-to is always product coach. Um, you can click on each of our products and it's going to give you very, very detailed information that you're not going to get on your customer website. Um, or even in product info, you may not get it there either. So if somebody's asking you like, um, I want to lose weight, but I can't have anything that has caffeine in it. Um, you, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the product coach website and there's going to be a search bar at the top and you just type in caffeine or if it's, they need to know that there's no, I don't know. I'm trying to think of an example now. What does stick with caffeine? Um, you'll type in caffeine and it's going to pull up everything that we have that has caffeine in it. So that is super helpful. So if you have somebody ask you one of those random questions, um, before you guys run and start asking like all, you know, your role or all the leaders and everybody, they're going to tell you, go check out product coach first and see if you can find it. Um, cause that's where you're going to just find so much helpful information. And then, like I said a second ago, so when I first got started and still to this day, um, aside from our trainings that we have in freedom legacy and the trainings that we have on e-suite, um, YouTube is absolutely amazing. So there's, um, I know when I first got started, I went to Brittany's YouTube channel and I just went through and watched like all of the stuff that she had on there. Um, stuff that she had recorded way before I was even in the business and things that I hadn't even really like encountered yet, or maybe I didn't know that I needed to know yet. All these things, I just started watching them in order 
and I was learning so much. So like Brittany was saying, um, like how it is with the chats, you know, read what we say about these things, read the questions that are asked, how they're doing it or how they're answering, how the leaders are answering. Um, so that when, an, when something does pop up, you already know what to do. So I was watching these trainings that were, you know, some of them were where I was at, or I would look at a place that I felt a little, you know, like insecure in my business, or I knew I needed to grow in. And I would just look for trainings on those different um, topics. And I would put them up in my, on my phone in the kitchen or in the bathroom, and I would just play them in the background. And I was constantly learning and just soaking in and soaking in and soaking in. And I know that that had such a big, such a big part to do with the fact that I went Ruby in less than two months because I was diving in head first and I was just all the information. I just wanted all of it. I knew I wanted to be at the top. I knew I needed to make money. I knew that we were struggling and I was going to just go all in and just do it. So YouTube is absolutely amazing. You can check out Brittany's YouTube channel, um, Claire Flores's YouTube channel. I meant to write down some other ones. Brittany, if you have any other ones you suggest for YouTube, those are my basic go-tos. Um, but if you have any other ones, you can write those in. And then the last thing is um, prices. So I see this question a ton during the day within like the different chats and even just people personally messaging me um, because obviously we're all still learning. All of you guys are definitely you know new and learning and all these things, but we want to show you guys, we want to teach you how to fish so that we're not feeding you just for the day and then you still don't know what to do. Um, so a lot of times if you come to us and ask us a specific question like, hey, how much is hair, skin and nails? We are more than likely not gonna say, oh, hair, skin and nails retails for 55, but it's this for 33. You know, We're gonna say, hey, this is where you can go find that so that from that point forward, you know where to find all the prices. Um, so if somebody's wanting to know about a product and you don't know how much the price is yet, you're getting your wording together, where you're going to go to find that is your replicated website that you made when you first got started. So for me, mine is, you know, jordansplinter.myatworks.com. So whatever yours is that you created, um, when you go there, it shows the loyal customer price. And then right under it, it shows the retail price. And that's really important when you're talking to potential customers, because if you're just telling them your discounted price, they're not going to see the kind of, like the type of deal that they're getting, but when they see the retail and then they see the discount and what they're going to get it at, that's when they're like, Oh, yes, I will take your discount, please. So make sure you're including both of those. And that's where you find it is your um, customer website. And then also Brittany put a really awesome um, thread in the team page in fire tribe called pricing scripts. And she already hit on that a little bit earlier. Um, you can scroll down that and it has wording and prices galore, like fantastic stuff. Um, so those are the two places that you guys can go to find prices for products. And then I'm going to push it back over to Brittany and she's going to talk to you guys about posting and pictures and all those awesome things. Okay, so just catching up on the chat, I did see um, a couple questions in the chat and I tried to answer them as Jordan was going. So if you guys still have questions, keep putting them in there. Uh, I did see one question though about um, do people feel comfortable giving you your giving you their credit card and how to overcome that? And what I want to just say blanketedly for everybody right now is that you are a business owner. When you go eat at a restaurant and the waiter comes and sh and he or she gets um, gives you the bill, do you say, "Oh, sorry, I'm not going to give you my card. I'm going to need to walk over behind the counter and check myself out." No, you don't say that. You give her the card. She walks away. Usually, it's on the other side of the restaurant. And you don't even see what she's doing. Like for all you know, she is writing down your whole card info, but you don't freak out. You give her your card, you trust her because that's her job. It's the same thing with all of us, you guys. We are business owners. Uh, literally, this this company, you guys, you have the potential and the ability to make more than most CEOs. And so you need to definitely get that out of your head that people won't want to give you their card. Um, because I can tell you right now that if you have the mentality that I'm a boss. If I take your card, it's because I'm, I'm going to get your, I'm getting your order in. This is my job. You're going to find that people aren't weird about it. One thing that I heard someone say from the very beginning, um, 
they said, if you were weird about it, people will be weird about it. Like they will sense that you're uncomfortable asking for it and you're we and, and you're being weird about it. And then they will be weird about it. They'll be like, wait, why is she being so awkward? So the best advice I can give you is just get all that out of your head. You know, at the end of the day that you are a good person that you're not going to do anything with their info. And so when you kind of just like come at it, like with that mentality, everything's fine. Um, and if I ever do have someone say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable giving my info. I will just say, oh, no problem. I'm happy to give you my number. You can just text it to me or call me. And then they're always like, oh, okay. And then worst case scenario, I've had this happen like two times ever. If someone's like, I just really don't want to give my info. I will voice message them and I, I will say, you know, hey girl, I, I completely understand not wanting to give out your info. Um, you know, here's the thing. This is what I do for a living. This is my job. This is literally how, you know, I fund my life, how I feed my family. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a Christian. I can promise you your info is 100% safe with me. So if it makes you feel better to call me, I'd be happy to get on the phone with you and just type it in over the phone. And guys, when you, when you say something like that, and you're really real with people, they're fine with it. So don't be afraid, just be confident. I love what Sully said in the comment, the comments over there. But anyways, moving on. So just getting into a good routine with posting. So like Jordan said, we have tons of resources in Firetribe. Um, we have a whole little post thread that says posting tips. Um, if you haven't been tagged in it, ask your enroller to tag you in the thread that has before and afters. They should know exactly what you're talking about. Um, and if for some crazy reason they tell you they don't know what you're talking about, ask them to ask their enroller because their enroller will know. Um, but get, get someone to tag you in that thread. Um, basically, these are all posts that I've personally written myself. Um, and they have a before and after and a post that I've written with it. And it's just a, a huge thread. It's got like hundreds of posts. And so that is a great thing to use when you're brand new and you're kind of like, okay, I want to start posting, but I don't know what to say. And eventually what you'll find is it just starts becoming second nature and you're writing your own posts without even having to think about it. Um, what I recommend doing is posting at least one product post, if not two, every single day um, and you doing a before and after for one of those two. So if you're only doing one product post, do a before and after. If you're doing two, do like one before and after and then a personal picture that you took. So um, if you follow all of your fire tribe leaders, you'll know that we all almost like clockwork every morning post a picture of our fat burning coffee. We'll like put our keto coffee out and take a pretty picture of it. That's an easy first product post. And that's just us constantly dripping out in people's news feeds that we're drinking this serious fat burning coffee. And then what I love about it is I choose before and afters to post later in the day that are of coffee and greens. And so it just works so beautifully together because they already see me drinking it. They hear me talk about it, how much I love it, how it makes me feel. And then now they're seeing me post results from it. And so it's just constantly in people's news feeds. And they're like, some people will watch, watch you post for a while, you guys, before they reach out. And so what I love is just picking a couple products to really hit hard over and over again, because eventually they have to know more. Um, I literally had someone message me just last week that signed up to be a customer for coffee and greens. And her message was like, okay, girl, I been hesitating reaching out for so long, but I've seen way too many results to ignore. I have to know what this is. Um, and it was on Instagram, you guys, and she didn't know me, but she's been following me and I'm so consistently posting about it. She had to know more, signed up to get it. Um, so that is what I recommend doing for product posts is just a before and after, and then something you took as took as well, excuse me. Um, and then make sure that you're posting like a good, um, array of lifestyle posts as well too. So people buy you, they don't buy the products. So they, you know, by them getting to know you and seeing who you are, that is what ultimately seals the deal with them wanting to support your business or even join your business and work with you. Um, so you want to make sure you're posting about all the same things that you did before the business, like about your life, about your kids, about if you don't have any kids about, you know, whatever things that you're passionate about. Um, think of five things that you want people to think of when they think of you or think of five things that you just really feel passionate about. And that's a good, you know, base to start posting about. So for me, I might not actually list five, but um, I post about my faith a lot. Um, if you go back and you scroll through my Facebook, you're going to see that I talk about trusting God and, you know, giving him over the reins to, to, to my life. You're going to see that theme all across my Facebook. And if you were to scroll back two years worth of posts, you're going to see that. That's a constant in my posts is just my faith. Um, and just talking about, you know, him bringing me from one, you know, dire stage in my life, you know, to this stage that I'm in now. I always revert everything back in my story to God. Um, the second thing for me is family. 
family. I'm always posting about family. I've got five kids. That's an easy thing to post about. So I post about my kids often, um, post about, you know, my marriage, my husband. Um, I try to make sure that I just have a good balance of, you know, those things I'm posting about. And then I love posting about um, just health and just, I'm really passionate about giving people like easy, seamless tips for their life. So I will even sometimes making posts about just easy ways to drink a lot of water. I've literally made a post that blew up before that got like a hundred likes. And I talked about the secret to staying hydrated was getting a cute cup from Starbucks. Um, and so just stuff like that, like you can post about anything. It doesn't have to be the business. Just think of ways that you can relate to your audience. Think of ways that you can add value to your audience. That's huge, you guys. And that's what's going to keep people coming back for more. So if you're passionate about makeup, do a makeup tutorial, you know, post about, you know, just like a tip that, you know, something that helps you. Um, if you're, you know, uh, very passionate about fashion, you know, just whatever, just you be you. You don't have to copy me. You don't have to copy Jordan. You don't copy any of your other leaders. Just find a good posting group for you. And then the last type of post that I recommend posting every day is a business opportunity post. I like to do these in the evening um, because people are scrolling Facebook before bed, they're scrolling Instagram before bed, and they are dreading work the next day. Or if they're a stay at home mom, they're dreading, you know, not seeing their husband for the next 12 hours, you know, the next day. And so by doing a business opportunity post in the evening, you're just really tugging at their heartstrings. You're just really, you know, showing them that there is a better way. And again, some people have to watch you for a while. I've had people that have literally watched my posts for months and months and months. In fact, almost all your fire tribe leaders, if not all of them did watch me for months and months. So that being said, like keep being so consistent and don't, don't feel repetitive with telling your story every night because you just never know who needs to see it one more time, three more times before they're going to reach out. Um, and so I'm just going to give you like a quick little example. You can go through and scroll, you know, Jordan's Facebook, my Facebook, you know, all your other fire tribe leaders, Facebooks, and you can see kind of how we all uniquely tell our stories. Um, there's, some you know strong common denominators amongst all of ours even though we all kind of have our own different style um but a good way when you're brand new and you're like okay i want to tell my story but i don't feel like i have a story to tell yet number one that's a lie we all have a story we all have something that's very unique about us that other people can relate to we just have to figure out what it is number two be vulnerable and then number three um just when in doubt tell your enroller story so a good example is just like let's say jordan's brand new she's one day in the business and she's wanting to start telling her story she could say you know for months and months i watched a friend from college uh work off her smartphone and change her life i never could get it out of my head and just could never you never stop wondering if i could do it too you know with my husband Lee, just getting out of the army and transitioning into a new job um, you know, I just couldn't shake the feeling that God was telling me that was the step for my family. Now here I am. I'm so excited about the future and what this business is going to do for our lives. You know, if you've been praying for an opportunity as well, comment below. I would love to give you some info about how working off your smartphone just may be the answer to your prayers too. Boom. You see what I did there? It didn't matter that Jordan was one day in the business or five days in the business or whatever. She still could really relate to other people by being vulnerable for a second, talking about the tough transition of her life and just just kind of like starting with my story. So that when in doubt is a great thing to do is just tell your enroller story or tell one of your upline story, one of your um, fire trap leader stories. So um, anyways, transitioning into the next thing, just, I just want to close with that as with just always tell your story. Um, if you're brand new and you're overwhelmed, just at least tell it a few times a week. You know, even if you just tell it three times a week to start, that's fine, but get in the habit of telling it almost every night because that is just where the magic happens. And that's where you're going to find those people coming out of the woodworks who've been watching you for so long and you had no clue. Um, in, in fire tribe, we talked about how we have that, um, little thread that has before and afters. We also have more pictures in the albums. So any other pictures you're looking for, um, you can go to the albums, the fire tribe. I try to periodically take some pretty pictures out in the sunlight of products. And anytime I do, I edit them and throw them in the albums. So you are free to use anything you find in the team page. I know there's also a lot of pictures in freedom legacy albums as well, too. Um, Morgan Olson, she's an Emerald going for diamond this month on the team. She is amazing at pictures and she actually uploaded a ton to the freedom legacy albums. So any, um, anything you need or anything that you see in the team page, you are welcome to use. Um, my main thing is just make sure you're not posting anything that looks spammy. Just make sure it's all very clean. Um, and just, you know, just very well lit pictures. Um, and then I think the only other thing that I would say about pictures is just making sure 
and I'm not going to touch on this too strongly because we do have a photo editing zoom um, on fire tribe and on Claire's YouTube as well too, that you can watch, but just definitely make sure that you do get in the habit of editing your photos. You can um, check out that video. Um, it's like a 30 minute video and it says how I edit my pictures and it's on Claire Flores's YouTube. Um, you can check out that when you're ready, but definitely you're going to want to get in a good habit and a good routine of editing your photos too, just so they're very bright, well lit, and they just pop in people's news feeds. Um, the other resource for you is the signing loyal customer and distributor page. Um, your enroller can add you to that and um, that just has more post examples um, and it's just a page that just like a bunch of different diamond and above leaders contributed to and it's just got post examples for everything so that's something like if you're really struggling with how to word your post that's a good page for you to get added to because you just have tons of ideas there um, and then in fire tribe in the description i actually have like a um a segment so you don't have to remember this if you need to go back and see the written um i have all of our uplines of who to follow written out um but just definitely make sure that you are following um all of our ambassador uplines um Alyssa bill actually now on facebook it says Alyssa marie um claire flores and then aaron tweed is the sideline ambassador of ours but she has um great content as well too she's a top 10 income earner um, and she is someone that all of our team for the most part follows as well too so you can um if you need to see how to spell these names later just go to the description of fire tribe and i have them all typed out and you can follow them so on that note i'm going to pass it back over to jordan um, and let her close us out do you need me to unmute you sorry jordan can you okay that's really weird there's no option to unmute okay are you on here twice Jordan there's one and it says ask you're on here twice okay that's why I can't find you hold on there we go sorry guys <laughs> okay there we go. Right. Sorry, I forgot I was on here on my phone too, in case I needed to type stuff. Um, okay, well, hopefully you guys got so many tips from whether it's, you know, how to work eSuite, how to post things, what your first goals are in the business. I hope all of you guys hopped on here and I hope that you're leaving feeling so much more equipped and with a great game plan of where to go from here. Um, and if you're still feeling a little bit confused, that's okay too. You know, it's definitely a process. And, you know, the more that you guys do these things and the more you're consistent with it and, you know, reaching out to your enroller and things like that, before you know it, it's just going to become like second nature. And like I was saying, you know, when I first talked, we all started at ground zero. We all started at the bottom. And the only difference between somebody who is brand new in the business and somebody who is a top income earner of the company is just that they didn't stop. They didn't quit and they didn't let, you know, the negative comments or the no's, you know, stop them. And that's just something to go ahead and get in your head now. That was huge for me to be prepared for that. Like be prepared for the no's because you're going to get them and you're going to get a lot of them. And no does not always mean no. It just means not right now. Um, you know, when you're talking to people about whether it's about products or about the business opportunity, um, you know, it's just, it may not be the right time for them. And you never know, like when somebody's life circumstances are gonna change. You know, they may not need extra money today. You know, when Josh was in the army full time as an officer, we didn't need the money. We were doing fine. If Brittany had come to me during that time of my life, I would not have needed this business. You know, but the fact that our life changed so drastically after my husband got out of the military and all of a sudden we were over our heads in debt and didn't know what we were gonna do next, you know, all of a sudden, now I need an opportunity and I'm looking everywhere for it, you know? So if somebody is already in your path, sharing those things with you, what's the first thing you're going to think about? You're going to think about Brittany Hayes or Jordan Splinter who make a full-time income or Brittany that makes six figure income. And you're going to say, Oh my gosh, like I've been watching, I've been watching them for so long. Like maybe this is for me. Maybe what they're saying is just for me. And then all of a sudden, you are constantly coming up in their newsfeed and you're constantly being put in their path for a reason. So, you know, I just want to encourage you guys as well, just because people are not commenting and liking on things, that does not mean that they are not watching. I don't think I ever liked or commented on anything that Brittany posted on Facebook. Um, honestly, I can't even remember what 
exactly stood out to me with Brittany. I can't remember that like pivotal moment. I wish I could. I need to go back and like find our old conversations. But um, I never, I never liked any of her stuff. And I definitely never commented and said, um, I needed an opportunity because we're struggling. No, I didn't want people to know we were struggling. I didn't want people to know that I was like in dire need of, you know, some miracle to happen in our family. Um, you know, but I watched her and I started watching her story. So just be encouraged that, you know, you may be posting every single day, or you may have done your first post your second post, or you may be two, three, four months in the business and you feel like, you know, why is nobody liking my stuff? Why is nobody commenting? I promise you, they are watching. Your people on your newsfeed are always, always watching. And the more consistent you are, the more that they're going to see. The less consistent you are, they're going to be following somebody else who's consistent, if that makes sense. And, you know, just, oh, I had a good thought to go with that and I forgot it already. Hashtag pregnant. Um, yeah, just know that they're watching you guys. Um, you know, I've had people come out of the woodworks, like Brittany was saying. Um, and I remember Brittany saying that very early on, like, just keep going, like, keep posting, keep doing these things. Like, you know, people, people will start coming out of the woodworks and you're not going to know where they came from. And I remember thinking, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> I mean, I believe you, but you know, will that happen for me? Will people be inspired by my story? Are they watching my story? Do they care? And you guys like clockwork one day, and I don't know what the change was. I remember messaging Brittany and I'm like, remember when you told me people were going to come out of nowhere? Well, like nine distributors just popped out of nowhere that I don't even know who commented, who like came to me on my messenger. Like I've never seen these people's names before and now they want to be distributors. And all of them said the same thing or a version of the same thing. Like, Hey, I've been watching your story. Hey, I saw this event that you did. Hey, you know, whatever it is. And I was just like, like mind blown you guys. And, you know, it's because I stayed consistent. And if I hadn't, if I had given up and gotten discouraged, they never would have, they never would have gotten that. You know, it's not just, when we're posting these things, I wasn't even planning on saying this, but when we're posting these things, it's not just about you. And it's not just about your, you know, what you're doing for your family, which is awesome. Like you're in this business for yourself, but you're not by yourself and you're not doing it just for you. You know, there's people out there who are going to be inspired by your story. Like all of you guys on here, I want you to take a second and just think about how long did you watch your enroller before you reached out to them? Before you said, okay, I'm ready to do this. I know I have um, a really sweet friend that's on here tonight and I have been wanting her in my business since like day one. And, you know, next month there'll be two years for me. And we just had like the go conversation what, two, three days ago. And, you know, it was just a time in her life where she was ready. So, you know, think about when you're posting these things, when you get nervous, when you start thinking, well, what are people going to think of what I'm talking about? What are they going to think about me sharing my struggles? What are they going to think about me sharing my dreams? People are scared to share their dreams. Like, what the heck? What kind of society are we in that we need to be scared to share our dreams? You know, instead of like, getting in that mindset because what that is that's selfish we're thinking about us we're thinking about what we're afraid of and what it's doing for you know in here and in our heads but if you just take a second and flip that around and flip that script and you think who's who needs to hear my story today who who needs this gift that I have to offer them who just found out yesterday that they have a crazy unexplained illness, you know, or they just got terrible news from the doctor yesterday that they need to hear about this product or who lost their job yesterday that, you know, gosh, I feel like I've shared my story so many times. Nobody's responding. Well, Sally so-and-so may have lost her job yesterday and all of a sudden you guys get what I'm saying. So in those moments where you get discouraged because it's going to happen, just going to, there you go. Spoiler alert. It's going to happen and expect it to happen. Expect those moments to come because when you're prepared for them, you just sail right over that joker. You are able to just boom right through it. You're like, oh, this is what, this is what our leaders talked to me about, that I was gonna have these days where I'm, you know, I just feel like, Bleh. you know, 
you're going to be able to sail right through those because you, you were prepared for it. Your mind is right. You're doing self-development each day because that's on your graphic. You are, you know, fueling your mind with positive things so that when those days happen, you, uh-oh, I don't know what happened, Brittany. Um, I see somebody's screen share. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. I think I have to, I'm going to like share and then stop share. Okay, it's still doing it. Hmm. Um, well, if you just want to screen share like a pretty picture, I'll just keep talking because I'm about to be finished anyway. <laughs> You guys don't need to see my face anyway. All right, I'll just share something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, just <laughs> the base of all of that little rant that I went on was just remember that consistency is key, you guys. And you know, when people make hit those like life changes, you want to be the first person that they think about. And just keep that in mind when you don't feel like posting. Oh, there we go. When you don't feel like posting or you don't know what to say or you think you're being repetitive, think about those things and the people, the gifts that you have to offer to those people. Um, because you may hit those no's, which just means not right now, but you're also going to hit so many yeses. And it's such a numbers game, you guys. Like I heard that in the very beginning, like for every, I, this is probably butchering and I'm just throwing out numbers for every 100 no's comes a yes. Okay, that might, to like a negative-minded person who's not filling their mind with positive things, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, a hundred no's, I can't deal with that, I'm out of here, I quit, blah, blah, blah. No, but for somebody who's filling their mind with positive things, and they're ready to roll, for every no that they get, they're going to be like, shoot, no number 98, all right, I just got two more no's, and then here comes my yes. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a totally different mindset there. So be that person that is ready for the no's because you know that yes is coming. You know that next person or the next or the next, they're going to be ready. And even the ones that say no, you know what? Now you've planted that seed to them. You're in their head. At some point, you're going to pop back up and you're going to keep popping up on their Facebook and they're going to be like, why am I seeing her stuff all the time? It's because at some point down the road, that seed is going to come to harvest and they're going to be ready for what you have to offer them. So be consistent, you guys. Be consistent. And then the last thing I just want to leave you guys with, um, my husband, Josh, I don't know if he's on here. They're, they left the room so that I wouldn't be nervous. Um, he shared a quote with me the other day that just like, boom, like my mind. And it was by John Maxwell. I'm going to read it off to you guys. Um, it was a podcast. It was John Maxwell's. Maxwell's podcast where he was interviewing Rachel Hollis, which is two like, like crazy awesome leaders. Um, and oh, Josh is here. Okay, good. Hi. Um, now I'm nervous. Basically what he said was don't be afraid of failing. Like their whole podcast was talking about like failure. Okay. Cause we, as a society, we look at failure. I know this is getting long bring. I'm so sorry. This is literally the last thing I'm going to say. We look at failure as like a terrible thing. Like, oh, I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail. What if I fail? And we just become so consumed with failure. And what he said in this quote was, don't be afraid of failing. Because every successful person you look at that's at the top, whether it's an It Works, whether it is multimillionaires, whether it's Bill Gates, <laughs> you know, whoever you look at that is at the top, they're up there sitting on a mountain of failures. That's huge. So for every failure you go through, that doesn't, that's not a negative thing. That means that you're learning. That's a learning process for you to grow to the next thing. And it's just making you stronger for that next step in your life that's coming. And the next step in your business that's coming. For every no, it's preparing you for how to overcome that obstacle, how to overcome their objection that they have or whatever it is. So. Um, we love you guys so much. Brittany, I don't know if you have anything else to add at the end. No, the only thing that I would add is just that, like Jordan said, like in this business, you're going to have 
things that come up against you. You're going to meet resistance. But I can tell you right now that no one on the path to success, and I don't care who they are, doesn't encounter resistance. It's a part of the game. It's how you know you're in the right place. Um, people that just smooth sail, fly under the radar in life aren't going anywhere, just plain and simple. And so you need to be prepared and be ready. And the way that you, you know, gear your mind up, gear, gear your mind up, you know, to overcome those battles and overcome those things that happen is um, by doing your self development. And so, you know, get on your leaders, YouTube channels, um, download those audiobooks, flood your mind with self development, literally 30% of my time is spent on self development. And so I can tell you right now, like you can never do too much of it. If you're ever feeling down, that's what you're, that's what you need to do. It's how you should start every day. So if you're working full time, listen to something while you're getting ready, listen to something while you're driving to work, listen to something on the way home for work, like utilize any opportunity you can to pour into your mind, because that is where the magic happens. And one thing I just wanted to end on was, you know, Jordan made a comment about, you know, the only difference between, you know, someone at the top and then someone down here is that, you know, the person at the top just never quit. And it really is just so so true you guys I've been in this business a long time um, I've been in this business two and a half years and I've seen a lot of people come and go but everyone that I've seen that has refused to give up and has taken quitting off the table has changed their life and is changing their life more and more and more every day and so the people you look up to in this business there's nothing at all special about them I mean they're all special people but there's no like hidden skills they had there's nothing that made them any different than you they just refuse to quit. They just refuse to, you know, back down when the going got tough. And so I just want you to know if you encounter anything, you know, hard, if you encounter anything challenging, like join the club. The rest of us have to, but you just got to keep going and persevere. And the good news is, is that you're in the right place. You have an entire family behind you that is ready to support you and ready to cheer you on. And there's nothing you can't do with this business and with God already going before you. So we love you guys so, so much. Um, I saw someone asked in the uh, chat, um, where are the books located? Um, so I, I recommend downloading just any audio book, um, like any good self-development book. We have a list of them in Fire Tribe. Um, if you just kind of search self-development, you'll see different threads where different leaders have recommended books. Um, and then YouTube is always a great place too. Jordan mentioned John Maxwell's podcast. Um, I love John Maxwell's podcast. I love Rachel Hollis. Um, I love Grant Cardone's podcast, um, Ed Milet. There's so many good ones. The Influencer Podcast is a great one. So even if you're trying to be economical and you don't have, you know, a lot of money to buy books right now, just listen to podcasts. Um, Craig Grishel is another good one. So we can um, post more in Fire Tribe for you guys. But yeah, there's so many good things to listen to. So, well, we love you guys so much. Thanks so much for tuning in. This was recorded. This will be uploaded to my YouTube. Um, and so if you had, um, you know, someone that was supposed to be on and had a conflict and couldn't get on, you'll be able to send them that link. Uh, we'll post the link in Fire Tribe. So. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great night.